What's going on, folks? So the legendary Timo Toki has just released a brand new song here. I'm super excited. The, the man needs no introduction. Uh, and he's got a new album coming out October 1st. So I'm really, really excited. Uh, the name of this song is Ultima Thule. And yeah, without further ado, let's just jump on in and give this bad boy a listen, shall we? Ragers. Go.
<clears throat> so, you know, I, I'm a little bit underwhelmed, but that's not to say it's a bad song, because it's not. It, it is a good song, you know, but it's one of those songs that just kind of falls squarely somewhat into the, the solid category. It never really reached uh, the heights uh, that I think it could have. But again, it's most certainly not a bad song. It's a well-done song, but it just doesn't really have that, that gotcha factor, you know, that really grabs you and, and you know, demands your attention and, and really gets its hooks in you. But, you know, it's well done. Uh, my favorite thing is that, that main guitar riff. You know, I really, really enjoyed that riff. It has a really nice melody to it, a really nice rhythm. It, it just is tight. It's a little heavy. You know, it, it's a, just a really, really cool riff that I liked a lot. And the vocals, of course. I mean, Jeff Scott Soto, he's got a great voice. And, uh, you know, I enjoyed the vocals quite a bit as well. But, you know, it's funny because the the guitar work, it, there's not like... A, a, a whole lot of, um, you know, maybe what you would expect from Timo Tolki. You know, there's not like a whole lot of real intricate guitar work happening. You know, you have that riff and, and things like that. And, um, and then like the solo. But even the solo, it wasn't this real kind of melodic solo or anything like that. It was just kind of some shredding, which was impressive. You know, it was cool. But, uh, you know, I might would have wanted like a nice sweeping melodic guitar solo, you know, that, that really kind of just, again, just kind of grabs you, you know. But instead, it's just kind of some shredding and stuff like that. And then the song continues. So that's what I mean. There's not really any real spark to the song. It just is kind of there and it just kind of plays out. And, you know, I enjoyed it. But I didn't love it. You know, it just didn't reach out and grab me. Um, but like I said, I mean, I love that guitar riff. You know, the verses and things were cool. I did think the first time around, the, those verses, they went a little bit too long. Because there's not a whole lot of dynamics happening in the verses. It's very kind of prodding a, a, along. And it just... It just went on a little bit too long, in my opinion. Uh, the second time around, they kind of got to where they were going a little bit quicker with the verses and stuff into the chorus. But the the first time around with the, the verses and like the pre-chorus, it just felt like it was dragging on uh, a, a bit long just due, due to the nature of it. Because there's nothing wrong with the verses. It, it's just that because of the, the, the melody and the, the way that it goes about, I just feel like it can wear at its welcome a, a little quicker than maybe some other um, kind of verses. If, you know, there's some more movement in there, some more things happening. But then you get to the chorus, and I enjoyed the chorus. You know, again, it, it's, a, it's a nice melodic chorus. It, it's kind of catchy, like it, it kind of sticks with you a little bit. But again, it's really neither here nor there. Um, you know, the chorus, it's interesting. Some aspects of this song remind me a little bit of like melodic rock. It's kind of like uh, a somewhat kind of heavy-ish power metal, kind of modern power metal kind of style song with a, a touch of melodic rock in there. Um, maybe that's in large part to Jeff Scott Soto's vocals, but even the, the melody and the chorus and reminds me a little bit of something like Gathering of Kings or, you know, just... A little bit of a melodic rock kind of uh, nature to it, but I, I did enjoy that chorus. Uh, like I said, it's got a nice melody to it. There's some nice imagery in the lyrics, and, and the, the video really kind of brought that home with the, the winter landscapes and, and things like that. But, yeah, I mean, it's just one of those songs where you enjoy it, but it just kind of passes you by. And it doesn't really demand additional listens or really just, again, just jump out and grab you. It doesn't really have that spark. Um, you know, it's just kind of there, uh, in my opinion. So that, that's really uh, what I got to say about it. You know, there's some nice little extra things done in the background, like whether it be like, it sounds like maybe a little bit of a keyboard kind of thing happening at times, um, just to add a little extra flavor. But Still, I feel like this song, it's very much surface level. There's not like a whole lot of like depth to it or a whole lot of just real kind of dynamic movement happening throughout. It's very like kind of even keel uh, across the board. So, you know, ultimately that's just my thought. I enjoyed it. 
not a bad song, but I didn't love it. You know, I definitely think it, it could have reached higher um, as far as the song goes and, and, you know, like a single and stuff like that. But again, I, I did really dig that guitar riff, though. Really loved that. Really, really loved that. Uh, perhaps more could have been done with that. But, you know, uh, again, I still enjoyed it. Didn't love it. But, uh, yeah, that's my thoughts on that. And regardless, I mean, I'm super, super excited for the, the new album dropping in October. Really looking forward to that. But let me know, folks, in the comments down below, what do you think of this song here? Are you a big fan of Timo Tolki? Um, you looking forward to the new album? Uh, I, I, I know that I most certainly am. And it's just nice knowing that he's still creating, you know, music and, and things like that. So that's exciting. But that's what I got for you folks here today. And I'll catch you all next time. Ranger, out.